Robert Venturi designed this Bendheim Hall that runs into Fisher Hall. And you can see he's created this frontispiece, which is almost like a building. But you can see it has a little rent at the end of the sign where it turns the corner with the building. In classical, a classical frontispiece would not have this angle to the sign. You can see the top of the frontispiece has a crown, very classical in form, but then you have this typography that is very modern. And then you have an entryway that is almost cave-like. You have to fit under this frontispiece billboard to get into the entryway. So you have this formal frontispiece, but the entryway is very informal. It's almost like, okay, here's the entryway. Let's go in now. And this is Venturi's way of saying, I'm a modern architect. I pick up some ideas from classical architecture, but I'm going to present them in a modern way. You see Robert Venturi using some Gothic elements in Fisher Hall. This huge, expansive bay window with the mullioned windows is a technique you see in Gothic architecture on, on campus and elsewhere. But again, he has used this strategy of, you would think this is a very formal entryway with this huge bay window, but you're basically crawling under the bay window to get to the doorway. So the doorway is very subdued compared to the grandiosity of the bay window. Another thing he's done with his bay is in order to not make the massing of this building so huge and overwhelm the eating clubs across the way, he has staggered the bay and the si both sides of the, of the building. He's taken chunks out of each corner so that the eye sees this as a uh, less massive building. This is Frank Gehry's Science Library building. You can see Fine, Tall, Fine Hall Tower in back of it. And one of the things that the Gehry building has done, these staggered forms that proceed from the ground up and up and up, really do allow the viewer to uh, take in the fine hall tower without it sticking out like an anomaly. Before, it was the only tall building on campus, and the Gary building has really helped.